Hey guys, Jungle Jerry here with Tiki 71. Today we are going to be replacing the stock throttle body on this V6 2021 Challenger GT with a polished and ported one. 80 millimeter from MMX Modern Muscle Extreme. I've already taken the uh, negative cable off of the battery, so let me get in here and show you what I've got. I'm also going to be doing a throttle body spacer. Now, I don't know if these things are any good or not. You hear both sides of it online, uh, probably not, but while I got the dead gum thing off, I thought, why not? So we'll put one of these on too. So the first thing I'm going to do here is disconnect this from the throttle body. You just pull back on this little tab here, and this will come out like so and then i'm going to take this little tab off right here that way we can get it out of the way the next thing is going to be the mass airflow sensor here you're going to rotate it counterclockwise and pull it out of the grommet i've got a k and n filter here now i'm going to take this thing and i'm going to set it way out of the way this thing is very sensitive here don't want to have to replace that okay next up i've got a 13 millimeter bolt right here which is uh this is on the uh, k and n uh, 63 series cold air intake it runs down to the little uh, grommet down there on the engine block. I need to loosen this up, take it off actually. I'm going to show you an easy way to get to the throttle body without having to remove the entire system here. We're just going to loosen that up there. Take this whole piece off here, this nut. And so I think I can do this very simply here. If I just loosen this one nut right here and this one here, I'm going to be able to pull the, pop this off, rotate it up out of the way, and I won't have to disassemble anything else on the air intake system. It would help if you put <laughs> the 8 millimeter in. There we go. So now that she's loose, we're just going to pop this whole thing off right here and rotate it up and out of the way. Now that we've got access to the throttle body, I am going to take the ratchet. And these are 8 millimeter as well, so that's nice and simple. Use the same ones. And we're going to bust these loose. I want to get a feel. They're not that tight. Okay. Get it started. Yeah. yeah. Once I get them loosened up enough, I'll just take them off with my fingers. Yeah. Uno. Dulce. Trece. All right, we'll ease this bad boy off here. We're going to keep that ring in there. I'm glad I put that oil catch cat on. I got, I got some oil there, a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely a thickness difference uh, in the sidewalls of the 74 millimeter versus the 80 millimeter and you can see where they've actually bored this thing out and ported it and it's prettier too kind of prettier these are the old bolts here you can see you've got a size difference there because we're going to be putting that throttle body spacer on there all we have to do at this point we've got this gasket in here we're going to take the the throttle body spacer and simply press it on to the manifold like so and then next is going to go our gasket and then the longer screws and the throttle body before you actually uh, put the gasket up to it go ahead and put these little washers on that they give you onto your bolts that's going to make it a whole lot easier on the back side here we're going to see exactly where those bolts go just like so, so i'm going to go ahead and run these through here so that we're lined up properly all the way down now hold all four bolts and turn around and take a look at it and make sure that everything looks good and it does so we're going to go ahead and get it up to this bad boy here and i'm going to show you a little trick here in a minute if uh, if you're kind of tight i noticed when i put my k and n on i was really tight with that uh, mass airflow sensor i'm going to show you how to uh, get a little more play in it so that you'll have room if you decide to put this on before you, uh, before you send these screws home, you don't want to cross thread or do anything like that. I'm giving these a little left turn here before I send them in. That way I'm sure that I'm seated and good to go here. I don't want to cross thread these. We're going into a uh, ABS type uh, plastic behind it there. But you put that socket wrench on here, you're not going to feel it the way you can feel it with your fingers. All right, I've got everything kind of finger tight. 
And I'm going to do a star pattern just like I do with tires. I'm going to go here, 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 here. And don't forget, when you're putting this on, those bolts were not Mad Dog before. They were just, I would call them well snugged. They weren't crazy. Good. Now I'm going to go back through and just, I want to do one double check because I don't want to hook all this stuff up and have to, good, 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 and good. That's cheap insurance right there. I'm going to go ahead and loosen this other one up, pull this back a bit here, and then slide it up over the uh, throttle body. Make sure you got your, uh, your clamp back on the plastic here. You don't want to put it on and then go, oh no. <laughs> I have not done that yet, but I can certainly see how it could happen. <laughs> Let me go all the way around there. Let me get her up on there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Put that clamp on, and we'll send her home. I got this repositioned back over the plastic. <clears throat> You want really good tight fittings here because we don't want any air coming through or bypassing the air filter on this. And we are good, solid. Next we're going to double check our hump hose connections and retighten them. Now at this point we're going to go ahead and reconnect this part right here. After I get my uh, son of a gun. If you don't have yourself one of these, it makes a fine investment. <laughs> you definitely need to get one of those. And now, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, I'm going to hold on to my bolt and lock her down. Now we'll take that air sensor and plug it back in very gently here. About, you can extend that distance there like so. And I got plenty of room. So I'm going to start back here, and we're going to go clockwise as we push in here and get her on in there. There we go. We are in. Next, I'm going to get my Husky liner out of the way and get back here into the trunk and put our negative back on. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten her back down here. I really like that Husky liner. Keeps everything nice and clean and easy to maintain. Now the nice thing about this is that it's all plug and play. You just bolt it on, you don't have to do a tune. So now let's start it up and check for codes. We're good there. and outside. So final takeaways from this, if you get more air into the intake manifold, you're obviously going to get more power, uh, more oxygen molecules, better combustion. I think this is going to be a good thing for this thing. My best time so far is 6.3 on the 0 to 60. We'll see if it improves and I will update it. If you would like to get those updates and other mods that I'm going to do, be sure and subscribe. Smash that like button as well. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. We really do appreciate you and we'll see you in the next video. So just a quick update here. I just uh, took it out to a uh, somewhat flat area and I was running 6.3 to 6.2 before the throttle body and the spacer and uh, check it out now. 5.7 uh, definite improvement. I like it.